here's here's what I have been pondering um, this morning. Um, as you know, this is oh, I'm really set fire to something there. Uh, this is my morning practice. This is how I start my week. This is how I start my day. Every day I try and start with writing, and and at least a couple of times a week um, I bring that to my page in my book. And what came to the surface, <laughs> what came to the surface, which is interesting, because I'm going to talk about diving deep. Because here's the thing, we have, we have treasure, we have wisdom, and we have medicine to bring to the world. And that is, that is gold. That is the gold that we discover when we are in flow. Now, I also choose to be very vulnerable in this place of create and listen because I wasn't particularly feeling very flowy this morning when I woke up. Um, and so I've written at the bottom, you are in flow. Because, you know, I think we are, we can drop very easily into self-criticism. Um, and so I'm just reminding myself that I am in flow and this is the gold. This is the gold that is at the bottom of my page. And something else that is coming, even just as I'm doing this little bit, is... You know, you have everything you need. I looked around my studio um, and, and I went, you know, everything I need is here. And, you know, this little bit of gold, I think it was a chocolate wrapper probably. Um, that, that's okay. <laughs> We're allowed to have chocolate. Um, this little bit of gold has been sitting waiting for me to understand the message that it has to bring so i've just got my gold to remind me that i am in flow even when we feel that we're not in flow and here's what i have also been prompted towards that I'm using the the imagery of a of water, okay, and I'm going to put some blue at the top because quite often, you know, um, for me, I'm speaking very personally here. Um, I can feel that the waters are clear. The waters are clear. I am in flow and you go, yeah, this is good. You know, my river isn't all sludged up. And, oh, where's my beautiful new paintbrushes? I know. Oh, that's very sad. I was going to show you my new paintbrushes. Oh, how well, isn't that interesting that you go, the paint brushes I wanted to use are not there. So, okay, so what's that telling me? What's that telling me? Apart from the fact that I'm, you know, I've put my paint brushes somewhere and they're really beautiful because they've got unicorn handles. Um, okay, okay. So, you know, I have everything I need. What am I being, what am I being called to use? Okay, I'm going to go with this one. I've got some water in my cup. That feels like an important message as well. So here's the top of my, here's the top of my stream. And, a bit too much blue there. And it appears to be clear. It appears to be clear. This blue, you know, this beautiful blue clear water is going all the way down to the bottom of the pond. So here is my blue. All of this beautiful 
clarity, clear thinking, clear waters flowing, my river flowing beautifully. You know, here we go, the river's going that way. I am in movement. And this blue does come all the way down. But then, it's really interesting, it's raining outside. <laughs> Don't you love, don't you love that here I am, you know, reflecting on, on, the, on the value and the importance of water. Um, and of course I had that, that, those words of wisdom from women who run with wolves about keeping your river clear. Keep your river clear of contaminants. Okay. Right. So there is my beautiful clear water. And at the bottom of my river, is the gold. The bottom is the river, is the treasure. There's a thought. Are you hiding your treasure at the bottom of a river? But we, you know, sometimes we do need to, do we need, we need to dive in. We need to dive in. A little repair job needed there. It's okay. But here is the gold. Here is the, all these swirly golds at the bottom of my river. Or pond. I feel I want to contemplate a river this morning because, you know, this is about being in movement. I don't want to get stuck. Um, and so I have. Yeah, this gold. This gold wants to come to the surface. Okay. And there's something really calming. I wasn't feeling very calm when I woke up. <laughs> There's something very calming about just getting this paint on to my page. And this light, you know, this gold wants to reach the surface. I just allow the paint to move. What is the paint wanting to do? What is it telling you? Okay. Oh, it almost looks like seaweed. Yellow seaweed coming up. And of course, as I mix those yellows with the blue, I get that lovely green. And I've still got that sense that we have beautiful clarity. We've got all this, this movement going on under the river. And I'm just going to wipe, I've got a wet wipe. I'm just going to wipe a little bit of that paint off those gold, that gold, because I want that gold to sparkle. What is the point? Another little message that I had this morning. I've got some, um, I've got some fairy lights in my studio. And they're battery operated and the batteries work. And I haven't got them turned on. And I thought, well, what's the point of that? What's the point of having these beautiful fairy lights? What's the point of having light if you don't turn it on? So that is another layer that I am bringing to this page. And I guess, I guess the, the, what I, you know, what I'm bringing is I am bringing my own practice. I am saying, look, you know, <laughs> We, we don't always wake up full of the joys of spring, knowing what we're going to do in the day. And, you know, I, I've been away for the weekend and, and it's a case of, oh, OK, I, I, yeah, OK, let's reset, let's regroup. And I know, I know that my river 
on a regular basis gets to be cleared out. Now that's quite cool because now it's shining. You know, we need to let our light shine. Then here's what happens. Here is what happens so, so often. And I'm using, I'm using a red, I'm using, uh, it's called Chromacridone Scarlet. And what's, what I, what I found interesting was what, you know, I picked this, I was drawn to that colour this morning. What was so interesting is that this is a transparent paint, okay. And this is what happens so often. People start to add things to your river, and it feels quite transparent. You know, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like there's any issue. You know, things get chucked in your river. I chuck stuff in my river because I go, oh, I can't quite cope with that at the moment. And it sinks to the bottom. It sinks all the way to the bottom. Because what happens when it starts getting down to the bottom is it starts to clog up. It clogs up the beautiful clear water that is down here. It starts clogging up the shining light. And although it is transparent and we think it's okay, we think it's quite clear, what happens is it all sinks to the bottom, it sinks down and it clogs up the river. We have water. We have the shining light, we have that soul fire. And then what happens is it gets hidden. And I love this process because when we create our own mud, when we, when we are willing to take this deep dive, below the surface, where it appears to be all clear. You know, we think our river is fine, but just below the surface, there is all this stuff going on. And it's muddy. It's contaminated by life experiences. You know, as we move through our day, we you know, we pick up, we pick up energies, we pick up stuff that doesn't belong to us. We pick up stuff that does belong to us and then we don't know what to do with it. And so it sinks down to the bottom. And it is so, so easy to forget that a really important task, just like having a shower in the morning or cleaning your teeth, what matters is that we get to clean our energy, we get to clear out the mud, we get to do the stuff that needs to be done, and we get to dive deep because, because this gold, this light, needs to shine the world needs us the world needs you the world needs you to shine the world needs you to clear out and me to clear out our rivers and our sludgy mucky ponds that get clogged up and it's you know it's not about it not clogging up it's about making sure that we keep it clear yeah, that we, we are prepared to dive deep. Okay. There a minute. And I have this image of a seal, which 
again was kicking around in in my in my stash of images. And I, and I love this because the seal is here to support me in diving deep. The seal is reminding me that it's okay. It's okay to dive beneath the, sea, the surface and go and look for that treasure. Okay, let's get our seal on there. Don't you love that? We are we're making we're marking this. This is a seal. This is a promise. This is a promise. You know, I'm receiving this as a promise to myself that I will dive below the surface. Put a bit more glue around him. Let's him, smudge him in. So we're integrating the seal into our page. And, and it sort of feels like, you know, as I do that, he is supporting. He's already doing the clearing. It's quite interesting that I referred to the seal as a he. You know, perhaps it is. It's a masculine. What is the energy that you need? Do you need... Do you need the masculine energy to come and help you? Do you need feminine energy? Who's going to come and support you and help you with your deep dive? Oh, I love this page. It's all muddy and and that's okay. I'm 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 all right with mud. Okay. Whew. So That's my page for now. Um, is there anything else that wants to come? The word allow wants to come on here. Um, you know, allow what wants to come to the surface. There's a sense that these are sort of bubbling up here. Um, because as we stir the bottom of our, you know, we stir the bottom of our riverbed, we stir that, it churns up some of the mud. And sometimes when you've had a bit of a disturbance, when something has changed, that's the mud being churned up and stirred. And that's when we can really start to dive deep for the treasure. Mm -hmm.